Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be um, doing another thing on islands, as you can see from the title. Um, so, what we're going to be doing today is making it so you can actually get rid of blocks, like with the pickaxe and whatever. So, um, this is going to be like part one of this, because uh, this is going to be like a little bit bigger than, um, like, you might think that it would be easy to make like a pickaxe or whatever, but um, it isn't that easy because there's a lot of things that you have to do to actually get to that point. So um, we're going to be doing a little bit of that today. And yeah, so the first thing that we're going to do is um, I'm going to fix something in the build script. So I just went, so go into the local script in the build script and uh, add a new variable called can place and set that equal to true. And uh, when we're clicking, what it, which is script.parent to activated, we'll just tab those up and we'll say if can place then, and at the end, we'll just add end. And then right here, before we do all this stuff, we'll say can place is equal to false. And at the end, we'll say wait 0 0.01, and then can place is equal to true. That just fixes some bugs because sometimes because when you unequip an, when you unequip the item like in reequip it then when you click it'll place it two times which is really weird but that's just how it works. So now that we have fixed that we can actually start getting into what we w wanted to do. So we'll make a tool. Let's name it. Let's just name it pickaxe for now. We're going to make like different types of pickaxes with different uh, speeds, but for now, we're just going to add a local script to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the player. So local, pl oops, I said layer, player is equal to game.players.local player. Okay, so now uh, we're going to say, look, oh my gosh, okay, local player. Okay, so local um, mouse is equal to player get mouse okay so now we're just going to say um uh, 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 uh um i don't know what i'm saying okay we're just going to say local equipped is equal to false and um local selection and we're not going to set that equal to anything. But first, we're going to actually have to make the selection so that we can actually see what we're hovering over. So we are just going to, let's do it on this dirt piece. Let's add a selection, a, no, not a selection, a sphere, a selection box, and um, uh, set it's a dorney to the root. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but that's just how I that's just how I say it, Adorni. But um, let's just make this a little bit more colorful because it just makes it look better. So, colorful. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty colorful. Yeah, I like cyan. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna change this to point zero one thickness, and I'd say that actually looks pretty cool. Like, not gonna lie, this looks pretty cool. Um, and now that we have that selection box, I'm just gonna name that block break selection. Okay, now that we have that, we can just put that into replicated storage. And I'm not gonna make like a folder for it or anything because we don't need to. And um, okay, so now we can actually start. So we're gonna say script.parent.equipped um, connect function. And in here, the first thing we're, that we gotta do is set equip to true because, well, you know, we, it just got equipped. So, <laughs> uh, okay, so selection is equal to game.replicatedStorage.block um, break selection clone and selection uh, selection.parent is equal to um, workspace. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to make like the mouse button down one, the mouse button, okay, the mouse button down function. I don't know why that was so hard to say, but we're gonna say 
oh my gosh okay mouse dot button one down connect function and we're going to say um if equipped then selection dot adorny destroy because um we're going to set the adorny so that like if we're hovering over let's say the middle block it will um set its adorny to this and then it'll appear on this like um it's doing right now do you see the lines that's how roblox studio made it so we're basically just copying roblox studio <laughs> and um it's actually the exact same because um it also has a one block it, i mean it also has a one line thick point one line thickness so we're basically just going to recreate we're basically recreating roblox studio so um yeah uh and now that we have finished that we're going to say uh while wait do oops and we're going to say if equipped then and um we're actually going to have to create a new function oops called um so local function uh what should we call it select select block maybe yeah that's just that's all i can come up with right now <laughs> i can only come up with the select block but this will not take in anything because it doesn't need to and um all we're gonna say right now is if mouse and if mouse dot target and if oops wait no why did i say and if okay and mouse dot target and equipped and you don't have to do like you don't have to say like mouse equal like does not equal nil or mouse dot target does not equal nil because this basically just set this basically just acts asks if mouse is a thing if mouse dot target is a thing if equipped is a thing so we basically just compacted that line like pretty well. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna say mouse, oops, mouse.target is equal to, wait, no, not target, target filter is equal to player.character. Okay, and now we're just going to say selection.adorny is equal to mouse.target. Okay, so now in here, we're just going to call, uh, oops, select block. Okay, let's test that out. Does not work. Does not seem to want to work. Huh. What does not want to work? Hmm. Hmm. This is extremely weird. Huh. That's so weird. It does not want to actually work. Wait, does it just not want to call it? Wait, 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 wait. If we get rid of this line of code, and then also get rid of this line of code, what will happen? Nothing happens. Wait, what? That is actually really weird. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. We just need to, okay. Um, so, uh, this is something that you guys should probably um, know in the future. So, when you are making a tool uh, and you don't want it to have a um, handle because you don't want it to show anything in your hand, you have to turn off requires handle and just 
and if you want to, you can turn off can be dropped. But you have to turn off requires requires handle because if you don't if the tool doesn't have a handle, then the scripts don't run. So now that we have um, requires handle off because we're not going to create a handle right now, you guys can create a handle. Um, but I don't want to. And the spawn is right there. Okay. Well, it works. And when I click, it gets rid of the blocks. Okay. So we know that works, but uh, we actually need to make it so it doesn't glitch out when we unequip it. Because if you see right here, we, um, okay, well, that's also a glitch on Roblox Studio. If it takes over uh, five seconds to like load, then there's probably a glitch happening. But like I can break a block, then if I unequip, I can still break blocks. So we just need to change that real quick. All we're gonna say is script.parent.unequipped connect function equipped equals false. Oops. And selection destroy, destroy. I feel like I always have um a pro like I always uh it's just hard for me to say destroy. Destroy de I can't spell destroy for some reason. It just doesn't work in my brain. Destroy. It just doesn't work in my brain. So that's why it's a little bit hard for me to say destroy. But now it works. And then we can start building freely. Get rid of it if we want to. And this is just part one. So what this does right now is so if someone else is in the game, they won't actually see you destroying the blocks. Only you can see uh, the blocks getting destroyed. So, um, wait. Oh, wait, I'm just looking at something. This, this has nothing to do with the video. I just want to see something. Okay, never mind. Uh, that had nothing to do with the video. I just that was just my curiosity, of <laughs> because um, I forgot how that script worked. I forgot how I made it because. Okay, well, um, that will actually be it for this video, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace out. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa wait. Um, this game will be in the description below, so if you want to like take it, um, you can get everything out of it. So. If you want, uh, I don't know, if you want the, um, if you want the tools, you can just take it from there. You can just, uh, it has free edits, so you, you just have to go, you just have to click the link below, and yeah, you can edit it and take anything out that you want. So yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace out, boys.